So my dad basically started a new family and completely stopped caring about me. Now, whenever I'm at his place, I feel like just a guest. It's like I don't even exist while he spoils his new family. When I was younger, my dad and I had a great relationship. My parents split up when I was a baby, but I spent weekdays with my mom and weekends with my dad. We were like best friends. Every weekend, we'd grab five Redbox movies to binge, go fishing, play soccer, and bike to the secret playground near the zoo. My dad used to always have new girlfriends that never lasted more than two weeks, except for one woman who stuck around for two years. I really liked her, but she left when I was 10. Things were still cool between my dad and me until I turned 12 and he met his now wife. This lady had two kids, one older and one younger than me. They moved into my dad's apartment just two weeks after meeting him. My room, which was already tiny, got even smaller. My mattress and three small plastic drawers got shoved into a corner to make room for the daughter's bunk bed and dresser. Eventually, they even started putting my bed in a closet until I came to visit, sometimes forgetting to take it out at all. When my dad moved into a bigger house, the older stepsister got her own room while I had to share with the younger one. My three small drawers turned into just one because the little sister wanted the other two for her toys. Slowly, I started visiting my dad less and less. Things took a nosedive when my dad got his girlfriend pregnant. They got married after a year, and he didn't even tell me for a whole month. I also didn't know about my baby half-sister being born until weeks after she came home from the hospital. To keep his new family happy, he started spoiling them and stopped paying child support for me and my mom. His wife doesn't work and just cooks, cleans, and shops. Her older daughter is having her college paid for by my dad, and the younger daughter is like a 10-year-old Sephora kid. My half-sister is still a toddler, but already spoiled and hates the word no. The fun routine I had with my dad, it's dead. My stepdad, on the other hand, has been with my mom since I was five. Apparently, I once called him dad when I was little, and my dad got all mad and told me I shouldn't love him like that because he's not my real father. This apparently made me act like I hated my stepdad, even though he was always good to me. Now I feel much closer to him. He feels like the dad my birth father should try to be. Over time, my dad started treating me differently. He rants about his political beliefs and conspiracy theories about aliens and stuff. He also brags about his new business and family and gets annoyed if I try to share anything about my life. It's like he sees me as a buddy, not his freaking daughter. I also found out that the reason my parents divorced wasn't that they weren't right for each other, but because my dad cheated on my mom while visiting family in Canada. I'm now 15 and a completely different person from the one my birth dad remembers. I don't love the beach or soccer anymore. Now I'm into music, reading, and writing. I've even published two books since 2022, and I'm working on the third in my series. My stepdad supports my dreams and brags about me to friends and family, calling me his daughter. He even has a biological daughter up north who I love like a real sister, even though I don't see her often. My dad blames me for not calling him, but honestly, because of how he's treated me lately, I don't feel like I owe him anything. I go months without visiting because I no longer feel comfortable there. The bed I sleep on there is literally considered a guest bed now. I feel like just a guest in my birth dad's house, and I resent him for it. I haven't told anyone about this, so no one's called me a jerk, but I sometimes wonder if I am. Am I wrong for not being happy for him and his new family? Anyway, here's an update. Since my last post, I've only visited my dad's house once. And yeah, it's clear I'm just an uncomfortable guest there. Whenever I go months without visiting, my dad tries to play innocent and calls me on Fridays to ask when he should pick me up. I never answer because he always calls when I'm in class or busy, so he ends up calling my mom. But he never asks me in advance, so I usually have plans with friends, cousins, or writing since I'm working on my third book. Honestly, I'm just gonna call him Eric now because he hasn't been much of a dad figure to me compared to my stepdad. My mom decided I should go to his house despite him not paying child support for over two years and me hating it there. She says it's to keep him from getting the court involved. She's confusing sometimes, saying he's a deadbeat, but also saying he's my loving dad who deserves my respect. Under the circumstances, I don't think anything would change since he doesn't pay child support anyway. One Christmas, he bought a bunch of gifts for his new family and handed me $200 saying, Merry Christmas, buy yourself something, and the rest can be child support or whatever. I bought two books, but that money was nowhere near what he owes. I've told my mom I'd be happier if he lost custody and my stepdad adopted me, but she thinks that's not the right move. 
So my mom always says it's too extreme and insists that he's still my dad and deserves my respect and love. Anyways, about last weekend, I went over to visit him. From the moment Eric picked me up, all he could talk about was his new family. He rambled on about the older sister and her boyfriend, the younger sister and her shopping sprees, and my half-sister who's starting to talk a bit. I was quiet during the whole ride until he asked me about school. When I answered, he got all frustrated and launched into some conspiracy theory rant. I totally tuned him out for the rest of the drive. The rest of the weekend was just as bad. The older sister did her usual thing, locked herself in her room, and only came out when I wasn't around, like when I left the house or was in the bathroom, just to avoid talking to me. The younger sister had a friend over, and her friend had stuff all over my bed and was sitting on it because that's where she sleeps during sleepovers. Eric's wife wasn't even subtle about how annoyed she was that I was visiting. More than once, she was completely surprised to see me because Eric didn't tell her I was coming, so she couldn't argue about it. The whole weekend was mostly Eric taking me and my half-sister to a playground. She ran around with her friends while I sat on a bench, trying to read, but Eric kept leaving her with me, telling me to keep an eye on her. She's a wild and fussy kid, and I'm not a babysitter. Just because I'm good with kids doesn't mean I enjoy sacrificing my time to watch them when they're not my responsibility. I had to deal with chaos or discomfort for two days straight. After that mess, I talked to my mom about not wanting to go over there anymore. She said that's fine and she wouldn't force me, but she said that before and didn't stick to it. So I'm not convinced. I feel like I have no one to talk to about this and it's really stressing me out. I can't remember my dad ever being this happy and sometimes I feel like I should be happy for him, but I just can't. I'm not sure what to do. Everyone who commented on my last post said I'm not the jerk and that Eric isn't acting like a dad should, but he still reaches out sometimes and calls me his baby girl and says he loves me. Honestly, I almost cry when he says that because it reminds me of how things used to be between us. Am I overthinking or overreacting? What should I do? Am I the jerk for not being happy for my dad? One suggestion from Hefty, 5,872, was to tell my mom that forcing me to go to my dad's could ruin our relationship because she isn't listening to me. They also suggested talking to my stepdad to see if he could help with my mom. Update. Hey everyone, it's been a couple of days since my last post. I took your advice and talked to my mom about not wanting to visit Eric anymore. Long story short, I'm not entirely sure she won't keep sending me over there, but she did send him a long text, chewing him out for not treating me right and telling him to pay his child support. He didn't respond to her. So I decided to text him myself, explaining how I felt about his treatment of me over the past few years. As soon as I sent it, he called me to yell at me, calling me spoiled and overdramatic. He said it's my fault we don't have a good relationship because I never visit or talk to him. He accused me of reaching out for money when I mentioned the unpaid child support. I nearly cried during the call and hung up on him. He also sent some angry texts to my mom, but later that day, he left me a voicemail saying he's broke and loves me. But I know that's a lie because I see my stepsister's TikTok videos showing off all the expensive stuff he buys her. I think I'm done trying. Some of you suggested asking my stepdad for help, but when I asked my mom if he could adopt me, she crushed me by saying he doesn't feel like he should adopt me. He's kind but unconfrontational and thinks it would be a slap in the face to Eric. Also, to clear up some confusion from the last update, my parents divorced because Eric cheated, but not with his current wife. They split when I was a baby, and Eric moved to Canada, jumping from girlfriend to girlfriend before moving back and continuing the pattern. When I was 12, he met and got Alejandra pregnant and married her without telling me till a month after their wedding. I'm 15, and the stress feels ridiculous at my age. I can't really talk to anyone about it. My stepdad's always working, and my mom always says I'm too young to feel this way. When I asked her about therapy, she said therapists are dumb and to talk to her or pray to God, but I'm not very religious and talking to her about serious stuff is uncomfortable because she's intimidating. My dad hasn't reached out since the voicemail and honestly, I don't wanna think about him for a while. If he ever realizes how badly he's messed up and apologizes, maybe we can try to rebuild our relationship. My stepdad may not wanna adopt me, but he still calls me his daughter, not stepdaughter, and I do feel loved by him. His parents and family are so warm and loving. I'll probably make another update if anything changes, but for now, I'm focusing on school and my books. Maybe now that I know Eric doesn't care that much, I can finish my third book.
I dedicated my first one to him, and I don't regret it. So I dedicated that book to the dad he used to be. Not like he's ever going to read it since he thinks it's dumb that I want to be a writer, but whatever, I don't care. I'm done. Huge thanks to everyone who gave me advice and reassured me that I wasn't being a jerk. Your support made me feel so much better. So big shout out to you all. Someone suggested I tell my dad that maybe he wouldn't be broke if he stopped spoiling his new family and started acting like a dad to his real daughter. Honestly, he hasn't been a dad to me in years. So why not just call it quits? He can be happy with his replacements because I'm done being ignored and walked over by someone who clearly doesn't want me around. And then there's this text he sent saying, you know I love you, right? Like, no, I don't know that at all. I know he says it, but he's never shown it. Love isn't just a word you toss out like a bone to a dog. It's about support, safety, acceptance. It's the tissue when I cry, the back rub when I'm sad, the wink at an inside joke, and the hug during happy times. That's what I need and expect from a dad. But he's been a huge disappointment. Update three. Hey everyone, it's been about nine days since my last update. I just wanted to say thanks for all the support and advice. There were a ton of similar questions, so I'm answering them here instead of individually. A lot of you said I should talk to a school counselor, but I do virtual homeschooling and my mom works from home a lot, so I'm scared to try that. Plus, I don't really trust adults to keep things private. I know it sounds paranoid, but that's just how I think. Some suggested I bring up therapy again with my mom, but she doesn't believe in it. She thinks praying or preaching the Bible solves everything. My stepdad, who I love like a real father, isn't much help either because he just goes along with whatever my mom says to avoid arguments. But I'm actually doing okay, and I think things might get better. I'm pretty sure my mom is finally going to file for full custody and court-ordered child support. Just to clarify, my parents handled their custody and child support arrangement themselves when they divorced. I spend weekends with my dad, and he's supposed to pay my mom $100 a week. I think my dad only stuck to that deal to look good until he got his U.S. legalization, since he used to be an immigrant from Canada. Once he got legalized, he stopped paying and started spoiling his new family. Anyway, I went to my dad's house last weekend. This time, my mom didn't force me. I wanted to give him one last chance. We didn't even get down the street before we started fighting. I was telling him about a business idea I had selling book boxes with DIY necklaces and hand-painted bookmarks, and he just shot it down, calling it stupid and unprofitable. It was an hour-long drive full of him getting political and angry over everything I said. When I mentioned applying to colleges like Harvard or University of Chicago, he started ranting about dangerous Cuban and Mexican immigrants and claimed Harvard's only famous because rich people go there. I snapped back, reminding him he can't look down on immigrants because he was one not too long ago. Also, it's bizarre he's so racist about Hispanic people when both my mom and his current wife are Latinas. He kept ranting and for the first time, I argued back instead of staying quiet. Because of that, he spent the weekend complaining about my attitude. I told my mom everything. The final straw was when I told her about a sexist rant he went on. I wrote down everything he said and texted it to her. She got pissed and I think that finally pushed her to go for full custody. Here's some of what he said. 99% of women want rich men. Nearly all women are greedy and unfaithful. Men don't like successful and independent women. Wives should respect husbands more than vice versa and that it's wrong if wives make more money than their husbands. Then he had the nerve to say, but you're the exception, pretty girl. So much more happened last weekend. Like him saying some of my guy friends aren't real men because they're gay and telling me my summer volunteering opportunity in the Dominican Republic is a bad idea because the people there are different. Even though my mom's side of the family is from there, I won't list every annoying thing he did, but yeah, I'm done. This was his last chance and he blew it. I think my mom is finally gonna take action.